Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wanted, Hello. Wanted to bring so. Out a sponsor. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sponsored. About... Today it's sponsored by Pepsi. Because we this, had we had no good this stuff episode in my house. Brought we had to you by not your father's root beer. Oh, this now also brought, brought to you by Poor Ad. <laughs> Coca Cola. <laughs> it's like you the know. Avatar with Ang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, Ang. <laughs> yes, Soka. <laughs> oh. Don't even get me started about the whole Hollywood whitewashing of that. But anyway. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. We're here to talk about D&D, damn it. All right, fill me in. All right. <clears throat> so I became a man. I became a... Uh, you yes, became a man. man. I became a, uh, a bear orc person. A what? <laughs> I met my spirit oh. master. My he, met, master he, met a, he met a creepy old guy in a hut and became a man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> who, I, uh... who touched him and released his inner potential. Oh, yeah, that's what the kids are calling it these days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too much um, playing Pokemon Go. Oh, I thought we were going to make it more than 30 Pokemon seconds Go. into the recording before we talked about that. Sorry. No, we are talking about that for a long time. I'm still <laughs> upset at it. Go. Keep going. Um, no. so, so, essentially... So I, I um, had, like, this vision thing. Went through mm -hmm. a little trial thing. Um, and, and if you didn't know already... Our uh, glorious DM is uh, trading something new for his campaign. He's uh, giving us like final forms, transformation sort of things. And my form will be determined based on which uh, animal I choose for my totem. Okay. And for the first section of the totem uh, warrior path, I uh, went with the bear. So I turned into a giant grizzly bear. <laughs> Like, oh, and emitted a wear bear kind of a wear bear sort of thing. So, um, and some, some, I guess, apparently was emitting some form of energy that drew in some some uh, unwanted attention. Very unsavory folk. So, so on, on the slightly more civilian side of things, we've acquired a manor by doing some good role playing and lots of lots of good persuasion checks. Ooh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm officially on the cardboard cutout for all this. Uh, more was or less. I present, but not, not present. No, you were not present at all. Yeah, you were tying some things back up <clears throat> at the the bar. Okay. Back while in we were, keep. While so we were I, I'm, I, ghost I, I haven't gained any experience. I stay where I am right now. Okay. You right. do no. You do have some experience. Um, okay. I have it right here. Six hundred and eighty-three. Oh. That brings me up to 19... 26. Nice. Seems these. Um, When's the next level? Something is like I neglected 3K? to mention. 2700. Uh, 2700. Okay. Something I neglected to mention last time. Uh, Throck, when you came back from your bear form, you were... Uh, Two levels of exhaustion. You, you were wearing a necklace. Or three. Oh, uh, with necklace. A, yeah, with a bear claw. Ooh, fancy. Like it was just kind of on you when you came back from that. Does it give me anything? Um, that is essentially what you need to keep on you to continue to use that. This if something happens to it, form. if something happens to it, you will not be able to access your final form. Mm-hmm. Um, wait a minute. Uh, Zed or Aranis, what's your experience at now? My experience is currently at, I think mine is slightly, slightly higher than yours. Like, uh, we were about like, even. Well, we were about even, so I'm, I'm talking, when I say slight, I'm talking like 15. I've got yes. uh, 2703. For oh some my reason, God. my experience is back down at 1365. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We'll just say you're at 2,700 even, because okay. you were close enough anyway. Plot. I've got three experience on the rest of the party! Yes! <laughs> well, you've got a little bit more on me, then. I'm at 2,623. Does that make us level four? You've got way yes, more on Yes, that makes me. you level Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. This... You, you did... Bring the leader of the bandits to justice. Is and that level you... three or level four? Twenty-seven hundred. 
That's level, That's level four. four. Okay, I just wrote some numbers wrong. One sec. Yeah. 300 so, is level two, 900 is level three, 2700 is level four. You brought the bandit leader to justice, uh, and by that I mean you brought him to Captain Richter. Uh, you also interrogated two of the other bandits. Dave. Dave and Phil. <laughs> yeah, Phil. because if, you gave, if, uh, if I named one of them Dave by actually, you can't give the other one an awesome name. It just has to be Bill. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, they, that, there was... We had an encounter with Bill Armstrong with another group on uh, Thursday. So. Mike. <laughs> awesome. Mike, when you yes. have a time, time on the time. Uh, you were kind of cleaning up the rest of the city. You were going around with Richter, um, trying to root out any other bandits, and you did find a few. Okay. Um, and you were also gathering a little bit of intel on where you were going to go next, which is Old Rivers Keep. And if you can do me a favor and make me uh, a history check, I can tell you what you found. Uh, oh. Oh. Um, Old Rivers Keep was, well, taken over about... Oh, 20 years ago, well, abandoned, not so much taken over. As far as you guys know, it was abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone kind of migrated to this smaller town and made it a much bigger town. We okay. Actually, didn't we, didn't we figure out that, um, that there's hobgoblins waiting to kick our ass there? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is just kind of a refresher, though. You, found, you, you already know that um, hobgoblins are, in fact the ones that raided the compound and have probably made some kind of modifications to it at this point. Uh, but considering, basically as they left, they did the old Russian retreat, which is torch <laughs> everything and run. <laughs> Salt the earth so they can't grow anything. <laughs> yeah, also, essentially. Also called the Carthage experience. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Hannibal. But from the people who had lived through it, like including Richter and Aunt Cass, they they tell you like they torched a lot. Okay. So what was uh, I probably can't tell with this check, but was there anything left over? They imagine like the literal keep itself, because it's not called Rivers. It, it's it was called Rivers Keep for a reason, and that was there was actually a giant keep. Um, but they were not really able to take that down in a timely manner. Okay. So, if anything... Just a skeleton of a keep. If anything, you can surmise that they were probably managed to like, rebuild some stuff and maybe add a few more modifications. Okay. But uh, a lot of the stuff in the keep was unfortunately left behind, including... Uh, what you now know is the first instrument of the bard, the Das Loot. Das Loot. Along with some other things, okay. uh, which you can easily lay claim to once you Late. get there. Oh, yeah. I, I think we're das easily. Uh, we're going to be as rich as kings. Maybe. That is a possibility, if you survive. And if we find, if we uh, roll some good investigation checks, I don't, I don't want to be a king. I love that life. You'd rather be a prince. No, less. So we can have a, so we can have a manor and a, and a king and a castle. I'm okay yes. with both. I'm, <laughs> what? It's a My figure of speech, Maverax. Too. It's a figure of all right. speech. All right, all right. I'll be a king. All right. So you're still oh. in the middle of the woods. With, uh, now, this, um, did you say guy. I had three levels of exhaustion or two? Two. Oh, okay, and then we stayed the night, so I'd be at one. Might as well yep. kill yourself. You're at one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? Th th uh, two levels of exhaustion. May as well kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Go to six. Just, just raise yourself to death. Oh, God. I tried it. Jimmy wouldn't let me. <laughs> we we tried. We tried real hard. 
We, we ran out of combat encounters. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of things for you to kill. <laughs> so that's more hard to us. His plan worked. <laughs> Alright. And my character ended up in the belly of a friggin' Hydra. Uh, oh. Good times. You really have an issue with monks. Dude. <laughs> No, that was. I will fully admit that was my own fault. Good. But you're still. Uh, so you spent the night. There are there are no further encounters except for the occasional wildlife that wanders through the massive hole in the wall over here. No, he fixed it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. He did. He went, it, didn't he? Are we all back together, or am I still no, out? We're still out in the woods. Okay. Yeah. So let's go pick him up. Day travel. And I get to travel south. All right, let's see. I'm looking for food. If not, if I fail <laughs> along the way, I was doing that. What is with doubles? Oh, my God. <laughs> I rolled doubles so many times with this guy. Yeah, you, you managed to find some, like, you know, nuts and berries and things like that. Just something to hold um, us over so, to keep our rations relatively fine. Yeah. Sweet. Um, aside from the occasional wanderer, you don't really come across anyone or anything. Uh, it's a relatively un, uh, uneventful. Uneventful, thank you. Trek back to Rivers Keep. Yay! I kind of just imagine that my, my feet are dragging a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So let me update the... Calendar. Oh, that's right. It is now the seventh. So you are back in Rivers Keep. What would you like to do? Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would like to. It's about midday, by the way, when you get back. I would like to go check up on my little schoolhouse. Okay. And see if, reno if renovations and maintenance has been started on it. I'm going to go okay. visit Grunty and get some stuff. All right. Anyone else? He promised, because he pro I was promised. Renovations, yes. I'm gonna. It has, been a, it has been a couple days. I'm gonna take some time to uh, rest, but while meditating, so I can have conversations with my father. Okay. Uh, can I go with uh, Aris? Aranis. Aranis. Yeah. Aranis. Sure. Yes. Of course. So, uh, right. you guys got to go back to the bar. So we'll, we'll do. Um, we'll do Zed first. Yeah. He goes to see uh, Grunt. All right. Grunt the smithy. Yep. <clears throat> okay. he, he's sitting there, big broad shoulder. Tink, tink. Well, speaking of which, let me put on some background music. Oh. Cause everything's better with background music. Just tell me if it's too loud or too soft or a little loud, a little loud. Well, a tiny bit louder. Better? Perfect. Yeah. For me, at least. I don't know about it. Okay. That's really quiet for me. I'll change it if I want to. Yeah, I changed mine up. Okay. All right. So there's Grunt. Yep. I give a knock on his door. Ah. I wave. Tink. 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 Yeah, I need, I need to buy some stuff from you. Yeah. Puts down his hammer. Walks over behind the counter. Yeah. You have any cow drops? <laughs> Reaches down, pulls out a bag, and sets down on it. Uh... 
sits down on the counter. How many bags do you have? Uh, just kind of thinking. <laughs> Pulls out a, another bag. <laughs> yeah. I forgot how much collar drops were for a bag. I think it's. Let me look that up. It's either a copper or a silver. It's. I think. Uh. Might be a hundred copper or something silly like that. Which is a silver. Yeah. Um. Bag collar drops. Uh, Cal bag of twenty. It's a gold piece. Really? And it weighs two pounds. Yep. Oh, bag of okay. 20. I'll give him two pieces of gold and be on my way then. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Drops it in his apron. Walks back around. Just goes back to tink, tink. Hey, Cal drops. All right. Aranis, let's bring you over to the sleeping giant. So the school's inside the sleeping giant. No. I don't know why I'm here, actually. Well, you're looking for Mavericks, right? Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, picking up, I'm picking up Mavericks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mavericks, good to see you. Good to see you as well. How are you doing? Want to run some hey, We can into, we go into Let's go. Uh, school of kids and youngsters at the moment. Ooh. Okay. Which currently um, consists of a fl a flunky and an evil shape changer. <laughs> And didn't you get like a couple people to? Uh, yeah, I've got a few homeless people. I've got that written down somewhere. Um, yes. And some homeless. <laughs> this place sounds more like a prison. <laughs> <laughs> a flunky, an evil shape changer. It, yeah, it... I'm keeping a couple other people here, and they just show up. Right, I have three students. Eight. I have. Sorry, I have eleven students. I yes. have I have three adult learners and eight students, eight young um, youngsters. Eight okay. youngsters. Um, uh, there is so. <laughs> and your prison reference, I, it is a school, so. Okay. Oh, just making sure. As a teacher, I can I can affirm this. <laughs> anyway, the outside is just all brick. It's just... <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's some people, uh, you know working on repairing things um there's a couple guys up on the, the roof uh putting in new shingles um there's some other people uh, a lot of it's manual uh there's maybe like five guys around uh fixing things up um it, do it still doesn't look like amazing but these are definitely it it's definitely um it, not even. It's been three not days. Even a week. It's only been a, about three, three days, <laughs> three, four days. If I, if I may. You're right. So yeah, it's been about a week. So it's been about a week. So I, I'm but okay if, with it. They're, they're making progress, which is more than I actually. Ex if I, I may it. ask, how how much more do they have to get done? Ah, uh, are you ask, asking this from a? Sure, sure. I'll approach a. I'll approach a worker. Yeah, Excuse me, find sir. the foreman. It. What can I do for you? Uh. <laughs> oh, him again. Uh, I'm just wondering. No, that's uh, my cousin. Yeah, uh, you, see, you see what you I got don't... here? You got. Uh, we had to fix the leaky roof. We're working on that. We got support beams that are rotting out and falling through. Can't have that falling on the kid. That's not going to be good for that the mayor. True. You have to worry about their health. No, worry about their health. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to fix some of those uh, sconces in there so we can get some good torches. We're going to put in uh, 
some benches, a couple tables, things like that. Make it look nice. Give a new coat of paint. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Apparently, I'm sorry, I I'm this terminology. Apparently, I went from Michigan to uh, New York there for a second. What's up? Hey, What's up? Get bada it. bing, bada boom. It's it's, it's, clo- it's, it's, colloquial. it's a colloquialism. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Uh, I say we go inside, shall we? So, so, so tell me, will it, will it be room for a small stage as well? Small. <sighs> you know, you're going to want to talk to the mayor about that. You see, we were just hired to put in the repairs. I don't know anything about any stages <laughs> or anything like that. He starts looking through the papers. Yeah, I... Go ahead and talk to, to... I'm pretty sure that we, uh, that we talked about a stage that is a part of a music school, after all. Yeah. Listen, buddy, I, I, no, I can no, tell. I, I understand. You're just here to do your job. I, no, thank I you for informing us of the situation. Not many people understand that. People come on up and yelling at me. Why is the street closed off? You know, it's not my fault that we have to fix the things. Why is the street closed off? I mean, you're just working on the building. They're, they're Mavericks. That's another colloquialism. You're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they joke about it. They go, oh, we're having a great season of construction. Yeah, yeah, it's funny until the things start falling apart on them. You know, I can't really win with this job. You, you do get people paid, saying, Huh? But then again, I can't do what you guys do. You go out there, you swing swords, kill things. I, it scares I, I me. I breathe fire. That's utterly terrifying. <laughs> If you'll, if you'll excuse me, good sir, I do need to attend to uh, the matter regarding the stage. Sure thing. Be- hey, because hey, the, the, the longer... The I... yeah. What the did long... I say about swinging the hammer? <laughs> the longer I take here, the more work potentially for you when it gets changed. Yeah, thank you. And he kind of goes back. He starts climbing up the ladder. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Oh, oh, okay. Can I about uh, newbies. All right, everybody, let's go. A contractor, a contractor is the the friendliest relationship you can have with a contractor is when you don't know his name. All right. When true. you know it, when you know his name, something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's so go. Uh, I'm going to make a slight detour to go talk to uh, Ricardo. Okay. Can, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's in your. Okay. He slams Ricardo. closed the book. He's in your. Are you ready to Let's take a test? Me. I think so. Uh, I pull out a. I pull out uh, of my ba- of my sack like ten scrolls of parchment and set it down. I say it's open notes. Open book. I'll be going to see the mayor. You better be finished when I get back. And you'd better have passed this time. I'm going to need you to start teaching soon. Yes, sir. I shall have it, uh... It shall be back. Then he grabs a... He just kind of... Like a flourish, and there's a quill and a bottle of ink. And he... You know, does like this flourish and like dabs the quill in the ink and... I put a, I put a second I put a second bottle down and I say if you're gonna flourish like that you're going to need you're going to need more ink. Thank you, sir. And he whips open the scroll and just <laughs> these eccentric characters are the best. And I'm assuming yeah, mul- I'm assuming Multimoto is nearby. Yeah. Um. Well, you assume because. Were there five builders or six? Five, which means there's now a sixth one. And I'd like to inspect as to see which one, if I managed to figure out which one was which. Okay. Ooh, give, me give him a test. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to inspect with my crusty eyes as well. <laughs> First roll of the night. Second. You have a sneaking suspicion that the one who was on the roof swinging the hammer 
was not a new was not there the entire time. I mean, I'm so pretty sure I'm... it was the foreman. <laughs> Thank you, Mavericks. I've got this under control. All right, sorry. I do appreciate your assistance. I try, as always. And I'm going to look up and say, uh, uh, I'm going to look up to the to the to the remaining workers. And say, this is a nice attire. How's the voice? To Multimoto. Thank you. Girl, just like I'll stop and just kind of look at him. You don't have any. They have no clue. I have a couple of tasks for you, if you don't mind. Can I? He he hops down off the roof and comes inside. Let's uh, head to a room, shall we? Of course. You go into the room, he slams the door shut, and... Uh, it's, um, I think you understand what it's like living with those imbeciles. It's... It's it's a changeling. Or not changeling, um... <laughs> Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. Um, I, have a, I have a quick question. Shoot. I have a divine sense. So these people that I'm unsure of, can we tell if they are evil? You can't necessarily tell their alignment from that. You can tell what type oh, of creature true. they are. Okay. Correct. Well, I'm glad you're well, back. And you're going to give me something worthwhile of my time. If the mayor isn't aware, I will make him aware that you will need a small, small budget to which acquire uh, costuming. I'm assuming that you are experienced in. Clo- in uh, Falsifying clothing. No, of course. And disguising. No, yes. Are you aware? Are you, and how familiar are you for the mundane ways of assuming disguises? A disguise within a disguise, if you will. That would be a new challenge for me. Here is my challenge. Ch- I have, a, I have a challenge. I have a multiple challenge for you. I'd like you to work on three months of material for teaching these young folks to disguise themselves into various acting roles. Mm. This includes costuming and makeup of all sorts. And I would like you to attempt to fool them by making them think that you're in a different costume every day. If any of them figure out that you are a shapeshifter, they get an A. I wouldn't want you getting bored from class to class, after all. How kind of you. Very well, I accept your challenge. And I pull out a script that looks... that is awfully similar to Shakespeare's Midsummer's Night Dream. Hands it to him. There's a character in here that is... genderless. I'm sure you'll enjoy... Getting some inspiration from this. He just kind of smirks and starts walking over towards a uh, a pile of rags. I'll have some stuff ready soon. Good man. That's another Make colloquialism. Sure. Make sure uh, you mark that down uh, that you have. Multi- okay, so Ricardo is currently taking the test, but we don't need to write that down. Multimodo. As material. Reading not Shakespeare. Alright. Uh, coming up. Shakespeare. 
to. I was at the end. Just going, just going straight to the end. Yeah. Aunt Cass kind of looks at you over. Oh dear, you look awful. Uh, it happens. <laughs> what? You've been gone for a week. What happened? Oh man. I've made a step towards my full potential. Or at least that's what I've been told this past week. <sighs> well, the bed's waiting for you upstairs. <clears throat> I actually just need a... Where's the... Hang on. <laughs> I'd actually just like a... Uh, comfortable but sturdy chair near the fireplace oh, with a bit of means. privacy if possible oh, by all means um, she waves her hand over and uh, one of the girls brings a chair over to the fireplace oh in here uh, you're able to go in the back yeah yeah And if I'm if I'm meditating, does that uh, count towards resting or no? Just yeah, that like counts. That counts as a short fall. rest. But okay. Ugh. I just did comfortable. Um, and start kind of deep breathing. Deep wow. breathing. Just like Engineer. trying to find that uh that inner space, that forest that I was in before, trying to get back to the clearing. Yeah, it's, it's you find that it's a lot harder. Oh, of course, <laughs> being away from such potent magic, uh, being in such uh, a civilized area. Uh, you There's like no clearings around you. Um, you don't so much see your father as you do like kind of feel his presence. Um, would I have a better chance like if I were to walk to the mansion and like go out into the woods behind the house? Or is it mostly just because I'm not near that, that source? You're not really sure. Um, it could be... One or the other, and um, the fact that I'm could just like a novice at this. Yeah, and that's that definitely doesn't help. Um, it's one of those things. It's it's a nature. It's a natural magic. So the more people that you get involved in it, the stronger it becomes. Mm -hmm. Like literally, it's it's synergy. The the sum is greater than the parts. <laughs> Am I still able to have, like, why, even if it's just like, am I able to have a conversation, or is it more of just like commu communication through like images and emotions at this point? Mostly right now it's emotions. Um, okay. Images are kind of harder to pin down. They're more blurry, just like everything else. Yeah, everything <sighs> in this area is vague and blurry, but you can definitely feel um, like a sense of almost like like a kind of a sense of peace hmm well, that's a great way to calm down after raging <laughs> yeah <laughs> like um you feel you feel almost fulfilled hmm and it's it's quiet I think there's I'm not going to try to communicate with him then. I think I'm just going to, okay. when we have short rests, unless I uh, specify otherwise, I think I'll just use short rests with the group as like a way to increase my capabilities with this. Yeah, because you definitely get the sense of something that the more you try it and the stronger your connection to your, your totems um, and the stronger the connection... 
becomes, the better you, it will be. Mm-hmm. Um, the the druid actually even went so far as to explain that this is how a lot of, uh, especially higher level or like uh, more powerful druids uh, communicate. Hmm. Is they usually have like a big sit down together, like link hands and kind of focus in on sending out messages. And that's how isolated druid groves communicate with one another. Uh, so you kind of will eventually be able to tap into that as well. Maybe not so much sending signals, but more of kind of listening to a police radio. <laughs> Like you can't really do much about it at this point, but you're able you're definitely able to like hear and prepare. Hmm. So it's like a long distance thaumaturgy cantrip for druids. Essentially, yeah. It's 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 hard to explain. Um in fact he tried it a couple of times and you you you, you kinda lose him at a couple points. Uh, Aranis, you not being specialized in the field of natural magic, uh, you're able to keep up with him to some degree, but after a while he starts kind of losing you as well. I'm better at him than something. And it's not hitting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> For now. <laughs> Nature magic is very hard to wrap your mind around. Uh, to, to wrap one's mind around. A half orc barbarian trying to use nature magic. NATURE! I do have a plus five to my knowledge nature checks. You, you do. <laughs> so that's why you're able to like understand it to some degree. Yeah. Because it's not like you're completely unschooled in it, but you are, you, you do have a, like, a, you have some kind of frame of reference. Nope. <laughs> So remind me that I want to recruit a nymph, and we'll, we can replant her tree if we need to. That'd be a dryad. <laughs> a dryad. Sorry. We can replant. We can replant the tree if we need to. Uh, but she might be an excellent addition. Next character. <laughs> Don't want to try. I'm actually going to put that under. Nobody has any I choice. I have a list of adventure choice. ideas. I'm going to put that in there. <laughs> what are you doing? You have the a list of ideas. The teacher, the teacher of nature studies, is going to be a dryad. <laughs> You're kind of like in Harry Potter, the well, the centaur who became Potter, a divine teacher. You freaking made you pretty much made my character Harry Potter. Oh, you didn't die because your parents loved you. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Like I was, I was throwing. And you even got a funny problem. mark on you too from it. No, the, the thing, though, is that he let me live. He wasn't trying yeah. to kill me. That's where I was going with it. Yeah. Well, once he figured, once he figured, it's like, oh, well, son of, like, originally his plan was, I'm going to let him live and suffer, but then he realized, oh, he can be incredibly powerful. I should legit kill him. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, um, but I ran that idea by my fiance. By the way, guys, I'm engaged. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Congratulations. Um, um, yeah, and she's like, "You're gonna turn him into Harry Potter." I'm like, "I don't want to." But I. <laughs> to be fair, that trope has been around though. Yeah. Well, before I already Harry have Potter. another character that can talk to sneak people. <laughs> you do, so... and we're not gonna talk about him. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, All right. So I kind of just give up and then go upstairs and rest. Okay. So Rannis and I are just, we the mayors. 